Hello everyone, I hope this message finds your school year off to a good start. As I mentioned at the fall refresher, I want to talk a little bit about an accreditation process that we're going to head into over the next couple of years. Um, we are right now in applicant status, and that means that through the uh, Michigan Association of Intermediate School District uh, Administrators, uh, we have applied uh, to become an applicant in the larger organization school improvement process uh, for um, service districts. And uh, the lead team, and this is not a decision-making team, but it is an information gathering team, a team that is going to um, make sure we're following the rules and doing everything we have to do uh, to get through this process, um, is right here. So it's myself and Susan Townsend, Maureen Keene, and Phyllis Stressman will be that lead team. Now, Right now we are in what we, uh, what we call applicant status and we need to work toward candidate status. And so um, in, throughout the month of September, what we are doing is setting up 15 subgroups. Uh, we call them the Cascades. Um, but we are setting up 15 subgroups and we are hoping to uh, both cascade information out to these uh, groups and get information cascading back into us. So we can really get a good feel for the perception of the people in our organization, how they feel about the organization, uh, and uh, how our stakeholders feel about the organization. So you can see those groups there and you fit into one of those groups and uh, you are going to be invited to participate in one of those groups as we move forward. So right now what we are trying to do is we're meeting with all of the facilitators of those 15 groups and we're trying to give them a consistent way uh, to collect data. Uh, so that everybody hears the same message and hears the same process uh, to go about uh, really gathering this perception data. Um, we will meet with the facilitators and walk through that to make sure it's consistent. And then they will set up meetings with all of you uh, to work their way through a tool to measure readiness. And all this is, is it, it, it's a group of standards that they walk you through. And as a group, you make a decision. Well, first, as an individual, you'll make a decision if you think uh, the organization meets that standard or needs improvement on that standard. And then as a group, you will talk about your individual uh, feelings on those standards and you will reach uh, some kind of a consensus uh, as a group on where you think we stand uh, according to these uh, advanced ed standards. That right now I'm, I'm giving you the screencast that kind of alerts everybody to this process and I'll be visiting as many staff meetings as I can between now and the end of the month uh, to also have a conversation with people. Um, and finally, that lead team will go to conferences uh, that are mandatory uh, as we go through this process to make sure we're getting the right information and doing the process in the correct manner. Uh, between October 1 and November 15th, um, these cascading groups, these 15 groups, will be working to complete the self-assessment for readiness. And again, um, you know, this, this is a, an assessment that looks at um, how we are doing as an organization, our perceptions as an organization in the five areas listed below here. Uh, purpose and direction, governance and leadership, professional learning experiences, resources, programs and services, and data collection for continuous improvement. And the facilitators of each of those groups will walk you through these standards and um, you know get your perceptions and ideas in terms of how we're doing in, in that sense. At the end of the day, our organization is going to be uh, accredited and then the individual schools that we operate um, within this organization will also be there. So Torrent and Kit Young uh, are one school, the, the Career Center is another, but we also um, are, are designated a school at the Youth Center in our local based special education programs and at Lincoln Head Start. So um, there will be some individual uh, processing going through for those schools and then as an organization as a whole uh, we'll be going through this. On October 2nd, uh, we have a board retreat coming up, um, and uh, for that uh, October 2nd meeting, the board is going to review its purpose statement and start to really uh, solidify uh, a larger umbrella mission and some, uh, what are are the organization's uncompromising pillars. Um, and so they're going to be working on that. And then once they finish working on that, they're going to set uh, goals for the coming year for that specific time period uh, as an organization that we'll move 
toward. And then as we move through this full accreditation process, we will be setting goals as a result of what we learn about ourselves from the accreditation process to get better. And that's that continuous improvement piece that we want to get to. So uh, as we work from applicant to candidate status and ultimately accredited status, once you reach accredited status, you're really just at uh, the starting point because now you set goals to continually improve once you're accredited. So um, that's what the whole purpose of the process is. It's not to evaluate how well we do, it is to validate what we do and then constantly try and get better at it. Once, so from October 1st to around the middle of November, those cascading groups will work through that self-assessment readiness tool. And then we will bring that back and we will compile that into a report for the Board of Education. And at the December board meeting, the board will hear um, the perceptions that our staff and our stakeholders have in terms of our readiness to get into this process based on where we stand on those five um, uh, areas that we talked about throughout this uh, this process. Um, the board will then uh, say, we're committed to this process. I will send a letter in. And on January 30th of 2015, the lead team will attend a readiness day, share out with the other um, ISDs involved in this uh, accreditation process right now where we are at. And uh, shortly thereafter, we should be given candidate status. Once we are in candidate status, we will come back to those cascading groups and we will look at that same self-assessment tool that's a little bit more specific this time. And instead of just saying, we think that we either meet it or we don't meet it, we will have to, as a group, we will have to document and score where we think we are with each of those standards um, in, in those five areas. And that'll take a little bit more time. In fact, we have about two and a half years to work our way through that process because you have to validate through data collection why uh, you feel that the organization is at that particular point. Once we get that done, then we're prepared and ready for an external visit. And uh, that visit will take place sometime between the spring of 2015 and June 2017. It will probably be, you know, in the 2000, uh, late in 2016 or early 2017 that that visitation actually takes place. When that visitation uh, does take place, it's interesting because they will, uh, it, it's an out of state person. Um, it is also people from around the state. And again, they come in not to evaluate us. They come in to validate what we've learned about ourselves in these five quality standard areas. And you can see them listed there. Um, they will basically tell it, you know, if we say, um, we're really good at this. And they say, well, that's funny because you don't have any evidence that says you're really good at this. You know, that's the kind of work they're going to do with us. And once we are... Uh, visited, they will most likely, uh, no one's ever not gotten an accredited status, but you, you, you are basically validated in terms of where you stand and then you set goals for continuous improvement moving forward. Um, and that's the power of this process. Learning where you're at, proving where you're at, and then setting goals to get better moving forward. So that is where we are at in terms of the overall process. I, um, I hope you will participate in this. We are going to have these uh, cascading group meetings at a time when you can. Um, it is not mandatory, although it is highly encouraged because as an organization, I know we do a good job, but I also know we can do better. I can certainly do better. And, and that's the point of this process is um, to make sure we continue to be uh, the high performing organization that we are. So um, thank you for your participation. Uh, keep this uh, logged so that you can refer back to it as we go through this process. And um, I hope you continue to have a great school year. Thank you.